Up next, another energy-saving technology ready for its day in the sun. Creating renewable solar energy is a top priority for most environmentalists, but making it affordable is a challenge. Well, that's about to change. A company called Energy Innovations has found a way to harness the power of 500 suns at a price competitive with the grid. It starts with a great deal of concentration. One, two, Want to save the planet and save money at the same time? Then come to Pasadena, California and meet your dream team. Because the it's side, their right? dream to build a solar energy collector that could revolutionize the way we get power. A company called Energy Innovations has built a device named Sunflower that uses mirrors to reflect the sun's rays into a photovoltaic receiver. The receiver sits above the unit and has photovoltaic or PV cells to collect the sun's energy that will blossom into usable power. Traditional solar panels use PV cells too, but are typically expensive and inefficient conductors. The traditional solar panels out there today are made of um, silicon and very expensive semiconductor material and that's one of the reasons the costs are prohibitive. What we've tried to do is reduce the amount of material by concentrating light with the use of mirrors. Okay. Solar energy is immense but very diffuse. If you actually concentrate the sunlight to a focal spot, you can then convert it more effectively and we're concentrating it with very cost-effective mirrors. Make these as flat as you can so they're flat to you. So that they're all Concentrating the sunlight the is key, but there's an even greater challenge. So do one, two, three, four, five, and six. The biggest challenge we have actually is that the sun moves. The earth is turning. So concentrating light, you can't do with a static mirror. You have to make a whole bunch of mirrors that can accurately follow the path of the sun all day long, reliably and repeatedly. And we came up with a number of mechanisms that allow us to do that, clockwise. that we believe are going to be the breakthrough. It was up to Greg Luconi and his design team to make that breakthrough, beginning with the azimuth, or horizontal, tracking of the sun. So this is the way we do our azimuth tracking, is on this large turntable right here. This whole heliostat is supported, the whole weight of it is supported on this large Lazy Susan. Um, and then we have great gear reduction, and the large diameter of this goes down to this small gear down here, and we can use a small stepper motor. And if I step out and show you, this whole thing turns to face the sun and it will keep turning slowly with that stepper motor and we'll find when it's perpendicular to the sun stop and then all of these sticks will align and do the elevation tracking this way the table of mirrors or heliostat has 16 sticks that move independently each holds 53 mirrors each one of these sticks has several different angles cut into it to hold each one of these mirrors at a very slightly different angle from one another what that does is allows the sun to come down and reflect off of each mirror and aim directly at the cell. So by tilting our elevation this way, uh, we can steer it towards the cell and all of these mirrors combined focus into that small size up there of the cell. Sunflower is in its prototype stage and Greg Luconi and his team are anxious to begin testing. Is there any sun? But the sun isn't cooperating. This is not your typical Southern California morning and they're hoping the sun will burn through. Sunflower can't generate power without sunlight, but it's not designed to. The goal is to maximize the sun's energy on clear days and generate electricity that's cheaper than power produced by fossil fuels. So that when you put solar on your roof, you would be able to look at your bill and you'd be able to see a solar product that offers electricity at the same price or even better than what you used to get from the electric utility. Energy Innovations has spent the last few years developing the Sunflower and has decided to target the business community as its initial customers. So if the sun moves five degrees in that time, we have Businesses use so much more electricity. We feel we can make more impact, both with the large flat roofs and because of the size of the customer. So we're going after that target market first. But we plan to make solar electricity cost effective for everyone. By early afternoon, the skies open up and the team jumps at the chance to soak up some rays. The bluer the sky, the more power Sunflower will collect and the better its performance. Okay, so azimuth, so azimuth track. Back it up just a bit. Before the mirror sticks can begin concentrating the solar rays onto the PV cell, the entire heliostat must turn perpendicular to the sun. Right on the money. It's perfect. Okay, now let's track the elevation. We'll try stick number one. Start tracking. 
and we're going to see how it passes the cell. As it passes the cell, there'll be a power spike, and that's how the cell can communicate with the computer to say, hey, I see a lot of light right now. And that's, when it, that's how it knows how to track. It passes that spike and then backs up until it finds the optimum spot. And then all the sticks do that. Looks pretty good. As each stick locks its beam onto the cell, the team watches the power level climb on a tracking computer. Great. We're at about 16 watts, and now as the second one starts to hit the focus, it's going to climb. So it's 16, 17. So ideally, we want to see 32, though, right now. Yeah, 18, 23, 25. At full strength, Sunflower will concentrate the equivalent of 500 suns upon the cell and generate one kilowatt of power. A typical home would need five or more sunflowers to meet its average power needs. But chances are you couldn't fit five of these units on your roof. That's why, for now, sunflower is better suited for businesses with large flat roofs that can provide the space. Let's do... The next like big challenge is to reduce the size and get it ready for manufacturing and ultimately make solar power the leading alternative to fossil fuels. Our dream is renewable solar energy so people use it as they get it. And we would like the world, maybe in 100 years, maybe in 200 years, to be 100% renewable. We're going to have to be that way because the growth of population and the importance of energy in our lives, we have to move to renewable energy to get enough of it. We think that you will see more and more panels up on rooftops and pretty soon commercially we think it will be just as commonplace as seeing a heater or air conditioning unit up on a roof. Sunflower success could sow the seeds of a new model for renewable energy. A shining example of technology that makes sense environmentally and economically. Energy Innovations plans to offer Sunflower for the commercial market first, promising a product that's twice as cost effective as flat panel collectors.